today I'm going to be using 10 of the best players to ever wear the number 7 shirt. For each player, I'm going to have an objective to complete. And trust me, I want to try and get these objectives done. Because if I don't, I'll explain about that in a minute. But before that, let's get our first player. We're starting things off with an icon that played in La Liga and Serie A for most of his career. Absolutely fantastic. Number seven for club and country. I am talking about Luis Figo. The first challenge is score a chip shot. Only have one opportunity. Score, you get a tick, miss. We... Uh -uh. This should be pretty easy, right? I've got a great team and he's a great player. Figo, 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 chip him, chip him, chip him. Oh, I missed it. So after that failure, let me explain why the challenges are so important. At the end of the video, I am going to be opening a Icon player pick completely and utterly blind. However, for every challenge I complete from the 10 challenges, I get to reveal one stat about the Icons. So the more challenges I complete, the more I get to see, which means I can make a better decision at which Icon I pick. It's also worth noting that half of these players are icons and half of them are still playing. So for our next player, they spent most of their career at Bayern Munich. They have always been number seven. I'm of course talking about Franck Ribéry. Unfortunately, he's only got this 81 rated card in FIFA. That is a little bit tragic. Medium low, five star fight, we love that. Do you know what the challenge is I gotta do with this guy? I need to dribble around the keeper with 71 agility and 69 pace. Legitimately, why have I done this to myself? I'm not gonna lie, this was hard. I just could not get him in the correct position to even try and take on the keeper. It was impossible, he's just too slow. Eventually, in the second half, I did get one chance. This could be it. This could be it! Oh! The game finished and I decided I had to take the L because if you don't even get two opportunities in a game, you don't get to play another one. So we failed that challenge and it's on to the third player. Guys, just wanted to watch the video for one second to talk to you about One Football. It is the best free football app you can get. It has literally all the information you need. You can look at live scores, highlights, news, match reports, live streaming, follow teams, follow competitions. It's a really user-friendly app as well. And I said, it's free to download. The link's down in the top of the description, okay? It does support me as well. And let's get back into the video. One of my favorite ever players, and he is the first great number seven for me in my era, a Manchester United set of amazing sevens. They've had quite a few. I'm talking about Eric Cantona. What an absolute player. What a moment icon card that we do have, which I do have untradeable. I did yes, you see, that's not even a flex. <laughs> now, this card has got 99 volleys. So we've got two attempts to score one volley. If I do, I get to see one stat from our icon player pick. Wait, an overhead kick is technically a volley, right? Well, oh, Kanta, what are you doing, me? Yes, Eric, he's going to score that. That's a volley. Oh. Eric. Yeah. <laughs> Keeper got bent! Eric, I absolutely love you. Thank you for getting our first challenge completed. We've got some fantastic players and challenges still to come, so make sure you stay tuned. For our next player, I've literally had to sell so much of my club to get the coins to buy this player. So I now have 3.5 million coins. Do you have any idea who this might be? We're talking about Tottenham's number seven. He's been a fantastic, consistent player for years, and he's also got this lovely brand new shapeshifter card. 3.4 million coins. Yes, flipping, please. Now, Son has always been a player with five-star weak foot, so the challenge is I've got three shots for every one I score on my weak foot I get to see a stat of the icon Son's going all the way I don't care turn that way now hit on your left hit on your left oh my god I might need a minute after that yes left foot there's your right oh that was just disappointing but that wasn't oh that was so annoying let's just watch it back one more time <laughs> It makes me tingle in places I shouldn't tingle. <laughs> Our fifth player is back to an icon who is one of, if not arguably, the most iconic number seven at Real Madrid. We're talking about Raul, okay? Multiple Champions League, multiple league titles, absolute goal machine, and he does have this lovely Icon Moments 93 rated card. Now, for Raul, I have decided that this man has, oh, he doesn't have 99 penalties. Oh, that's a bit of a scam. All right, he doesn't have 99 penalties, but for this challenge, I've got a 
score a spinning penalty. Now some of you are thinking, what the is a spinning penalty? Well, here it is. Get the penalty. I've then got to spin around 10 times before I take the pen. I'm not allowed to go down the middle. If I score, we get to see a stat. If I miss, you know. I didn't anticipate how hard it would be to actually get a penalty. I kept trying and trying, but just couldn't do it. I don't think I've ever shouted ref so many times. Oh, referee! Oh, referee! Referee! Ref, that's got to be a pen! Ref, how's that not a penalty? I've been trying for a few hours and I just gave up and decided we'll get on with the rest of the challenges and try and do it as we do those. Okay, let's move on to our sixth player. And we are looking at a player who is one of the greatest number sevens right now. And who knows, he could make it his own. I'm talking about Killian. Mbappe. Mbappe? Mbappe? I've got this lovely player of the month card which we're going to use for it. And for him, he is a five-star skiller, so we have to score a skill goal. We get two opportunities. Any kind of skill, shoot, must go in. This is it. What should we do? What should I do? I know what I'm going to do. That. Whoop doop! Finish it! Oh, that's the first opportunity! A bit of premature skillization. Yes, go! Let's go, Mbappe! Come on! I'm kind of relieved. We get to see another stat. Mbappe, you're an absolute legend. So our next player, he's a little bit before... Actually, he's a huge amount of time before me. Gorincha, regarded as one of the best dribblers to ever exist. Grinch was a number seven, and he does have this lovely moments icon card, which is actually only 900,000 coins. I'm pleasantly surprised at that. He's been known for his dribbling. It's only fair we do a challenge around his dribbling. I have to dribble around two players and score a goal. I get two opportunities to do it. I'll tell you what, his stats don't lie. His dribbling is crazy. Oh! <laughs> I don't know, it might be more than two. We take it. Uh, I'd quit after that as well. Gorincha, thank you very much for letting me see a stat. We've got three incredible players left, so make sure you stay tuned. And then we've got the icon player pick. At the minute, I get to see four stats. And that's all. So player number eight, we've got another World Cup winner. They're also a Champions League winner, but they're not your traditional kind of number seven that you think we'd be talking about. But we're going to be using Ungolo Kante. His team of the year card, only 1.3 million coins now. It's not too bad at all, really. We'll take a little bit of that in. Now, the challenge with Kante is I've just got to score a goal because he's not even an attacking player. So I think that's fair enough. I'm going to give him two shots. Every time he scores, I get to see a stat. Oh, and don't worry, I haven't forgotten about the penalty. Yes, that's gonna be it. Ref! Finish it. Can do. <laughs> go on, Golo. Go on, Golo. Got be it. Got be it. Oh, he's missed it. Oh. Just one stat. I played out the rest of the game to try and get the penalty. I took the lead with about ten minutes left, so I decided to message the person to see if I gave them three goals. Would they let me have one penalty? I even just gifted them the three goals before they responded and hoped for the best. What an absolute legend there, helping me get a penalty. Go on, Kante. Go on, Kante. Kante! Oh. <laughs> hey, massive thank you to that person that helped, though. You tried your best. What an absolute legend. So we've got two players left, then the icon pick. Player number nine. Now, I wish I could say this player won a World Cup. <laughs> but he's still an absolute joke. And he is one of the most symbolic... Number sevens there's ever been. Talking about another Manchester United number seven. We are talking about David Beckham. What a player. What a man. And with Beckham, now, we would normally do a free kick challenge. But you see how long it takes to even try to get a penalty. I have not got that in me. So with Beckham, we've just got a score from outside the box. Two opportunities, one stat for every time we score. And then on attempt number 198 of trying to get a penalty. Yes, yes, spin. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> no way. That is harsh. I'm taking the L on that. Oh, my God. So it was back to trying to score with Beckham. Ooh. Ho, ho, there's one. Right, bet. Yeah, top bins. Top. <laughs> top. <laughs> well, at least you tried. Still a fantastic number seven. And now we just have one player left. <laughs> And the challenge with Cristiano to finish us off is I've got one game to get a hat trick with him. Things started pretty well. Finish that, Ronaldo. Come on, sweet. Let's just bend in the top ends. Maybe too well. Probably a bad idea because I don't want him to rage quit. So I decided to give him one back because we need to be tactical about this. Um, I don't need to be this tactical. 
but it didn't matter. All we needed was the hat trick. Oh! Let's go, one more, come on! 80 second minute, we need one more goal with CR7. We had one last chance. Oh! The greatest number seven of all time couldn't do the business for us. Five stats to see. Let's get into the icon pick and we open it. The five stats I want to see are... Oh, God. Oh, my word. I'm going to go for number three because the other two look absolutely sh... We get one of the greatest number sevens. It's like it's fate. It still sucks though. If you enjoyed this vid and you want to see the 10 best number eight, put a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe and go watch this because YouTube is telling you you're going to love it.